The MDO 4000 series mixed domain oscilloscopes combines the analog and digital channels from the industry standard MSO 4000 series oscilloscopes with up to 6 GHz RF input comparable to entry level spectrum analyzers. This enables you to continue using your tool of choice, the oscilloscope, to look at the frequency domain rather than having to find and relearn a spectrum analyzer. In the next few minutes, you'll see how you can use the MDO 4000 series for basic spectral analysis. Spectral analysis begins with connecting your RF signal to the dedicated RF input. Depending on your source, you could also capture your RF signal by using an antenna or an active probe. The MDO 4000 provides dedicated front panel controls for the RF input. You have quick access buttons for the most commonly performed tasks, such as turning on and off the RF display, setting center frequency and span, adjusting the reference level, defining the resolution bandwidth, and turning on markers. Let's begin by just displaying the RF channel. First, set the center frequency, the frequency that the display will be centered around. Notice the A within the orange dot. This indicates that the center frequency can be set using this multi-purpose knob A. Also notice that the readout is highlighted orange. This indicates that the 10-digit keypad could be used to directly enter the precise value. For this example, the keypad is used to set the center frequency from 2.39 to 2.4 GHz. Next, set the frequency span, the range between start and stop frequencies that are displayed on the screen. For this example, the multipurpose knob B is used to set the frequency span from 5 to 50 MHz. Next, set the resolution bandwidth, often abbreviated as RBW. The resolution bandwidth determines to what level the oscilloscope can resolve individual frequencies in the frequency domain. For example, if your RF signal contains two carriers separated by 1 MHz, you will not be able to discriminate between them unless the RBW is less than 1 MHz. Why not always set the most narrow resolution bandwidth? Because it takes longer to process. So the trade-off is time. A narrow resolution bandwidth takes longer to process, but you get a finer frequency resolution and a lower noise floor. The MDO 4000 includes four different spectrum traces that can be turned on or off independently. The normal trace. The max hold trace only updates if the new value is higher than the old value. This trace is useful when you want to record the maximum values during a certain period or for measuring band filter curves. The min hold trace only updates if the new value is lower than the old value. This trace is useful when you want to record the minimum values during a certain period. The average trace averages the data over multiple acquisitions. This trace is useful doing measurements on a noisy source. For spectral analysis of slowly changing RF phenomena, use spectrogram. The spectrogram is like time trend view of amplitude versus time. Color is used to indicate magnitude of peaks relative to each other. Cold colors such as blue and green indicate low amplitude. Hot colors like red and yellow indicate high amplitude. Notice how faint signals are easily seen in the spectrogram. You can view how the spectrum changed over time by looking back in time through the spectrogram using the spectrum slice control, which has been assigned to the A multipurpose knob. With the MDO 4000 series, you have a tool packed with features for seeing and analyzing your RF spectrum fast and efficiently.